So it's called Club Tinsel, and it's from 7 to 12 a.m., and you can go inside, and your kids can dance around with the characters and stuff. It's really cool. So this is the dance party and they have some holiday characters inside. Chaos right after the show trying to get out of here. Just be aware if you want to see the show and you try to get up close, it's going to be chaos to get anywhere afterwards. And there's also treats. Just chaos everywhere. <laughs> I think they could have maybe managed that a little bit better as far as the lines and as far as the exit flow. to battle the holiday doldrums.
Santa's and break into her house? Oh, well, not exactly. Santa make mist? Oh, well, that's more like it. Santa make mist? Oh, yeah. Santa wrap up kids with high fatness level? Well, no, I wouldn't put it that way. Santa make mist? Oh, well, that's more like it. Santa make mist? Oh, yeah. Santa wrap up kids with high fatness level? Well, no, I wouldn't put it that way. Santa sound like big snitch to Stitch. Oh, come on now, Stitch. Why would you say that? Sometimes they're too high fatness level. If you wait on the side of the stage, you can have a meet and greet with Buzz Lightyear, you got Mike, and you got Santa Stitch. And they just hang out here on the side of the stage and you can, uh, you know, meet and greet them real quick. And if you're looking to get something really small, they got these little gift bags that have some candy in them. They run about $6.99 for a bag. And they have different uh, candies in them. And the price on this is $16.49, peppermint bark. It's kind of heavy. Are these little snowman uh, antenna covers? Yeah, this, which is a package of uh, different chocolate bars. And this runs you $14.95 for this. If you want to know the flavors, they have uh, dark chocolate uh, sea salt. Dark chocolate sea salt. They have a dark chocolate peppermint crunch, milk chocolate, milk chocolate marshmallow, and a milk chocolate caramel. Uh, these little cool uh, tree things. What is this? It's a Mickey's shortbread rounds. So it's like a tree and there's cookies in the inside. And the price on this is $35.99 for this. I'll get you a better uh, coverage in a second. Do be aware, if you come to this party and you come to this shop and you want to buy Christmas stuff, um, earlier we saw the line out the door and there are uh, a lot of people buying the merch here. Um, the Christmas stuff tends to fly off the shelf and you can see the line is almost reaching towards the door. So be aware that if you want to buy your holiday stuff, you might want to do it early or do it late. Hey, Santa's in line.
And they also have pass holder shirts if you are a pass holder. I'll tell you the price in just a second. And the price is $27.99 for the pass holder shirt. I'll try to show you the back in just a second. So those are pins for this year, they're limited edition. You can buy each one separate, right? All of them except for the very top one right Okay. Now. So what's for the total price of it all? The whole box is 119. Okay, thank you. 119 for the whole box of limited the edition. Pin as well. Ooh, look at this one. And that wow. is sixty dollars. Thank you. You want to see the other pen that we have? Ooh. This is the official party logo pen. That is $14.99. Wow, thank you. All right, when you see a candy cane, it typically means there's a treat. We're gonna check out what, what it is. Ooh, hello. Thank you, eggnog and ginger molasses cookies. Oh, I love it. Thank you, oh, yes. Bye-bye. Thank you. So we have ginger and molasses cookies and eggnog. Although I thought it was eggnog and ginger molasses cookies, not eggnog and ginger molasses cookies. I enjoy eggnog, so I'm pretty sure I'll enjoy this. The cookies, we shall see. So something to note when you come to Mickey's, Hollow, Mickey's Holiday Christmas Party Extravaganza is there's a lot of walking. Do be aware, you're gonna walk a lot, and you're gonna walk a lot, and you're gonna probably walk fast at stuff, because the way they have the shows and the parades and everything, it's not spaced out entirely well unless you're gonna come multiple nights. And a lot of the cookies and stuff, they're all kind of spread out, obviously, but do be aware of that. So over here you have hot cocoa once again, and you have Snickerdoodle cookies. I'm pretty sure they're gonna be good. No. And okay, so we had the eggnog. I had it. She didn't have it. And we had a ginger molasses cookie. Yeah. Cookie. Yes. I enjoyed it. The cookies were just okay. I mean, they left like kind of like a weird aftertaste. So. Not for me. I, I like ginger snap kind of cookies. Yeah. Think of that, but soft and not so much on the, 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 the bite, basically. And we just had snickerdoodle cookies. And more hot cocoa. Uh, tastes like a snickerdoodle cookie. Nothing really outstanding. Yeah. I dipped them in the hot cocoa, and it made it a little bit better. Yeah, They're not really flavorful. So. If you don't like any of the cookies, just dip them in the hot chocolate. It'll make everything it's better. Soft. Yes. But, I want to go back to the eggnog. Normally, if you've ever had eggnog, you would know eggnog is typically it's, it's thick and it's very sweet. Uh, most most store brought stuff. The eggnog here is very light. It's uh, not so sweet, so you can just drink it pretty much all night and not feel uh, sick. But that's would you, it. Would and, you drink uh, it all night? No. <laughs> I wouldn't, but it's still good. Okay. See, I'm drinking it now. He endorses it. So here for the uh, Mickey's Extravagant Holiday Party, over here at the Sleepy Hollow, they have a pumpkin, spice. A pumpkin spice waffle sundae type of thing. First impressions? Mm -hmm. You can definitely taste the pumpkin. Hmm. All right, time for a taste test. Let me cut off a piece of that for you. Thank you. Maybe. Oh, oh, don't mind like that one. Teamwork. Teamwork. Makes the dream.
Within the ice cream, you do taste a little, I don't know what they are. Sprinkles? No, well, I guess, yeah. I thought they were like peppermint sprinkles or something. Um, it's okay. Not the best thing in the world. Yeah. I mean, would I actively like seek this out if you were here? I wouldn't recommend it, but. You like pumpkin, maybe. Um, mm, I don't really taste the pumpkin to be like strong pumpkin. It's it's more of a light pumpkin. I think light flavored. But, pumpkin light. Yeah. So we're in here in the ice cream parlor, and they have a peppermint hot fudge sundae that we're gonna try. I don't see it listed anywhere as far as the holiday treat in the front, but we're gonna see if they have it. So inside the ice cream parlor, they have a holiday ice cream cookie sandwich at 5 29 So what I got, it's a hot, it's a peppermint hot fudge sundae. And when you order it, you can actually get other flavors if you don't want, it comes with vanilla and the mint. I'll let you guys know how it is. And it costs $5.39 if you're looking to get it. So you had the peppermint hot fudge sundae? Yeah. It was good. Yeah. And mint ice cream, mint chocolate chip, vanilla ice cream, whipped cream with the cherry uh, on top. And uh, peppermint pieces in it. Yeah. It's uh, $5.49. Really good for the price. Yeah. I think the pumpkin waffle was about the same price, and that one's a little bigger of a portion so you can actually eat the waffle cone. Yeah. But uh, if you had to choose one. Probably the peppermint. I like peppermint more than I like pumpkin, actually. Yeah. I'm probably the minority for that. I would choose the peppermint as well. Like pumpkin. This is the end of the video. You have reached it. Hopefully, it will help you decide if you want to come to Mickey's Christmas holiday party. There are people coming, so let's make this quick. <laughs> I'm going to give a few general thoughts a little later on in the video, but what were your thoughts about tonight? I think it was fun. I think there's a lot to do, so if you're not careful, you won't be able to get everything done, so you got to prioritize. Yep. And if I come back, I want to see more characters for sure. Yeah, I'll definitely say that it's a hard event to just do on one night you almost need to do at least two nights to kind of relax and enjoy mm -hmm. it because there's so much to do not even us with her planning pretty much everything uh getting most stuff not done yeah we did we, we did still all the shows a it's lot just, of the there's characters, a lot of the characters that, that we didn't even we didn't walk do a by. lot of that we didn't do any rides except for mm -hmm. people mover yes. and um something at the start but haunted mansion before the party. Yep. But anyway, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you do, <laughs> ignore that. Make sure to hit a thumbs up and please subscribe if you haven't already. Leave it down in the comment section if you're coming to Mickey's Exaggerated Christmas Party. <laughs> Let me know what is your favorite thing you saw in the video. Until next time. If you meet Santa, you get candy canes. Or you could say, until next time, peace. Bye.